Hey guys, how you all doing? I'm Paul the Tech Giant and welcome to the channel. So, the other night I was just about to shut off the TV for the evening and my 65 inch BA OLED done something that I've never seen it do before. And uh, apparently it's something that happens to LG OLEDs after a certain amount of time. So uh, what I've done, I've got a bit of footage that I recorded just as it happened and I'm going to show that bit of footage now and once I've shown that I'll come back to you guys and we will uh, discuss it a bit further. Right then guys, just gone to uh, turn off my TV and it has come up saying about a automatic pixel refresh. Now this isn't the small one that you often get which uh, kicks in after the TV has been on for 4 hours and runs for about 20 minutes to refresh a panel. This is the big one that um, only comes around once every few thousand uh, hours of usage. And uh, yeah, it's automatically come up and said it wants to run it. It will take about an hour, apparently. And uh, what I've done is I went to turn the TV off and it came up just before it sort of went off saying that it was going to run this. I've managed to cancel that by going to turn the TV back on. As you can see there, it says that I've uh, turned the TV uh, back on before the pixel refresher could uh, be completed. So what I'm going to do now is, I mean, it does say there, if I want to carry on and do it, I can just basically go into the uh, pixel refresher menu um, and start it again. But the way you can do it is simply by pressing the power button on the remote, which I'll do now, and it should do what it done before. Yeah, and there you go. It's saying that it will now run it. And uh, yeah, basically it will clean the screen. And it says your TV will be turned off shortly. And uh, there you go. So it will be interesting to see uh, how the panel changes uh, after it's run that refresh. Is there going to be any difference or not? We shall see. So, as you guys would have just seen, my LG OLED decided it was time to do one of its big refreshes. Now, this occurs approximately once every 2,000 hours. And uh, I think my TV has done it before because I'm well over 2,000 hours. I put the TV at about 3,500 hours. So, I reckon it's done one before and I've just never caught it. Um, but, yeah, it's good that it does this. It saves you having to remember, remember to do it. And yeah, simply just turn the TV off and it will come at saying it's going to do it and it will go ahead and do it and should just take about an hour and refresh that panel. So for any of you guys out there who don't follow the channel and want to know what the screen refresher is for, well, simply it is there for if you've got any patchiness or starting signs of burning on the panel, this should hopefully wipe the panel clean and uh, bring back the screen uniformity. So there are two other types of pixel refresh for this TV, one being uh, one that kicks in after four hours of continual use of the panel. Once the TV is put into standby, it will run a small 20 minute pixel refresh. And finally, there is a manual one hour pixel refresher, which I will show you guys in just a minute how to do that. And you would run this if you have noticed any patchiness on the screen or any starting signs of potential burning. And this is to be run um, in between your automatic ones and your automatic um, 2000 hour pixel refresher. So what I'm gonna do now is show you guys how you do that manual one hour pixel refresh. And then I'll move on to some testing of the panel to see if there has been any improvement after that automatic 2000 hour panel refresh. So what you've got to simply do is grab your remote control and do a long press on the settings button there. And once that has come up, you should see your uh, picture options there. And then you want to go down to OLED panel settings, highlight and click on the uh, scroll wheel there. So just get that highlighted up. Uh, there we go. And then you will see pixel refresher. Highlight and click on that one. And there you will see your two options. You've got uh, start it straight away, which is start now, or start once the TV has been shut off. So you've got a couple of options there. 
And uh, yeah, like I said, that will run for one hour and hopefully should uh, clear up any issues that you are having with your panel. Right, moving on with a bit of testing now with the panel. And I've got a pay 5% grayscale on this screen. And uh, if you guys follow the channel, you may remember that only a couple of days ago, I'd done a one year screen burn test and I'd done this very test just then. So uh, I've got a bit of footage from that on my iPad so I can compare it. Uh, a bit, bit weird actually that I'd done that test and then only a few days later this popped up to do a refresh. And uh, also you may remember, oh, for anyone who doesn't follow the channel, I've got some dead pixels on this screen as well. Uh, well, I believe they're dead and not stuck. So it'd be interesting to see if this screen wipe has uh, made any difference to them. So anyway, looking at this uh, 5% and looking at, at it on my iPad here, um, now I could put a side by side on the screen, but I'm just gonna show you on my iPad. And I do actually believe it has improved it slightly. Now the same sort of um, banding or patchiness does seem to be there, but I think it has actually dulled it down quite a bit. Um, yeah, especially on the left-hand side here, that band, as you can see just there, is a bit more prominent uh, before. And also on the right hand side just there, you've got that band. And yeah, it seems to have doled it down quite a bit. We still have got these sort of like patchy sort of like waveforms sort of just here, which again, you can see on the iPad there. Like I said, it, the, the sort of markings are still there, but it's just seemed to have doled it down a little bit. Right, now moving on to a color sweep test. Again, this is when I performed on my 12 month burning test. Again, if you wanna uh, check that out, I will put a link in the description. And once again, I'm just gonna let this run through to see what the uniformity is like. And yeah, it all looks spot on. It was before, as I uh, said, uh, I don't expect it's gonna change really. Um, why should it? But Still, we will have a look at it, but more importantly, in a minute, I will stop it on some of these colors, and we have a closer look at those uh, pixels. Right, so we've got it stopped on a bright white now, and we're just gonna have a look around the panel, and starting up in the top left-hand corner, all looks good. Moving across, and uh, yeah, unfortunately, it's a bit hard to focus, but, the pixels that are out are still out. I don't know if you guys can make them out there. So yeah, that's a bit of a bummer that it didn't fix that. I didn't think it would. So I think that pretty much confirms that they are dead, not just sort of stuck. But yeah, looking around the panel, it all looks mint as it did only a few days ago. So it's really not a lot to improve on. But anyway, we'll move on to another color and just see how those pixel look pixels are looking right got a nice green up here now again top left hand corner uniformity is looking great getting to those dead pixels now yeah you can see them just up there yeah the green really does show them up so unfortunately that um automatic pixel refresher after 2000 hours has done nothing to solve that issue. So moved, uh, moving along the bottom, all looking good, and back up the left-hand side. Yeah, all fine, great uniformity once again. Right, let's move on to another color. And finally, onto a red. Now, unfortunately, my camera is making it look a bit more sort of pinkish and for some reason it always seems to make it look uh, lighter down at the bottom. Not sure why that is, but there you go. So again, top left and moving along. Again, all looks fine. And all good, coming down the right hand side. 
I apologize to any of my subscribers out there who have seen me do this uh, recently. But like I said, you know, this is also for the benefit of uh, all the people who haven't seen my channel before. And yeah, going up the left hand side, all looks spot on, uniformity great again. And uh, yeah, that is that. So there you have it then guys. Hopefully you enjoyed that video and if you did, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, then maybe think about subscribing for more of the same in the future. So thanks very much for joining me today and hopefully I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye for now.